Hello everyone. Before diving into today's topic, we want to take a moment to thank you for your support. Every like, comment, and subscription truly makes a difference and helps this channel grow. If you enjoy our content and don't want to miss the next videos, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all notifications. The idea that almost every galaxy hosts a supermassive black hole at its center is now widely accepted by the scientific community, even though, historically, it was difficult to accept the existence of such extreme entities. These black holes, which can have masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun, are not merely mysterious objects in the universe, but play a fundamental role in the structure and evolution of galaxies. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a striking example. At its center lies Sagittarius A, a black hole with a mass about 4 million times that of the Sun. This black hole, although relatively small compared to others, exerts a powerful gravitational force that controls the movements of nearby stars and matter, profoundly influencing the evolution of the galaxy. However, the existence of enormously more massive and mysterious black holes, which challenge the known laws of physics, has sparked interest and wonder, opening new frontiers in our study of the universe. An extraordinary example of these massive entities is Tun 618, an ultramassive black hole located in the constellation Canes Venatici, about 10.4 billion light years from Earth. This incredible object is what is known as a quasar, an extremely intense source of light originating from a black hole that is devouring matter. When matter is drawn toward the black hole, it is heated to high temperatures and emits brilliant radiation that we can observe from cosmic distances. The mass of Tun 618 is estimated to be about 66 billion times that of the Sun, making it one of the most massive black holes ever discovered. Its size and gravitational power are such that it alters the very fabric of space-time, influencing not only the galaxy that hosts it but also the objects and matter in its surroundings. One of the most fascinating characteristics of Tun 618 is its extraordinary brightness. With an absolute magnitude of 30.7, this quasar is 140 trillion times brighter than the Sun. Such luminosity makes it one of the brightest and most powerful objects in the entire known universe, so much so that its energy can be observed even from enormous cosmic distances. To better understand this figure, we can compare its luminosity to that of billions of stars like our Sun, all concentrated into a single source of radiation. This immense energy, which comes from the area around the black hole, is enough to illuminate the entire galactic system and influence vast volumes of space. The intensity of its light has made Tun 618 one of the most important objects of study for astrophysicists, who seek to understand how a single source can emit so much energy and how this can affect the surrounding environment. Structurally, the Schwarzschild radius of Tun 618 is about 1,300 astronomical units, O which corresponds to about 195 billion kilometers. To give an idea of the impressive size of this black hole, the average distance between the Sun and Neptune is about 4.5 billion kilometers, so the Schwarzschild radius of Tun 618 is more than 40 times greater than that distance. This means that its gravitational influence extends over a vast region of space, much larger than one might imagine. In fact, a black hole of this size has a gravitational field so powerful that matter approaching it is torn apart and sucked toward its center. The area around such a large black hole would be a place where Einstein's general relativity comes into extreme play, creating phenomena we still do not fully understand, such as the curvature of time and space. The story of the discovery of Tun 618 is fascinating and enlightening regarding the progress of astronomical observations. The first sighting of Tun 618 dates back to 1957, during a campaign to identify faint blue stars, and it was initially catalogued as a star. However, in 1970, radio observations revealed that this object was not a star at all, but a quasar, a type of source that emits incredibly intense light. This discovery was fundamental as it helped shed light on a completely new class of celestial objects that challenged our understanding of how the universe and the bodies within it work. The revelation that Tun 618 was a quasar expanded our knowledge of how supermassive black holes can generate such extreme levels of brightness, 
providing important insights for the study of active black holes and quasars in general. The formation of such massive black holes as TUN 618 is a topic that continues to stimulate wide debate among scientists. Some theories suggest that these ultramassive black holes could originate from the collapse of very massive stars that existed in the early universe, during the initial phases of galaxy formation. The first stars of the universe, which were much more massive than modern stars, may have given rise to black holes that, once formed, continued to grow. It is thought that these black holes could have grown not only through the collapse of stars, but also by acquiring matter from nearby sources, such as gas and interstellar dust, or perhaps through mergers with other black holes. This accretion process which has been observed in various quasars, could be the key to understanding how some black holes can reach such extraordinary sizes in cosmologically short timescales. Another example of an ultramassive black hole that is arousing scientific interest is Phoenix A. Located at the center of the Phoenix Galaxy Cluster, about 5.7 billion light-years from Earth. This black hole is inside an old galaxy that, against all expectations, continues to form stars at a very high rate. In fact, Phoenix A is generating about 1,000 new stars per year, a rate of star formation that is extremely high for a galaxy of its age. This fact has surprised astronomers, as it was believed that older galaxies had already exhausted their capacity to generate new stars, a process that tends to slow with the galaxy's age. The influence of the supermassive black hole at the center of Phoenix A could be one of the causes of this surprising stellar activity, perhaps through a mechanism that stimulates the formation of new stars in a way that continues to fuel the galaxy. Estimates of the mass of the black hole in Phoenix A indicate that it could exceed that of ton 618, reaching up to 100 billion solar masses. If confirmed, this would make it one of the most massive black holes ever identified, and its existence raises important questions about how such extreme objects form and evolve. The presence of a galaxy that continues to form stars so actively, despite its old age, could suggest that unique processes occurred in the early universe that influenced the formation of galaxies and black holes, and that might no longer be replicable in modern galaxies. The ongoing discovery of exceptionally large black holes, such as TUN 618 and Phoenix A, raises crucial questions about the formation and evolution of galaxies and the black holes themselves. These extreme objects challenge existing theories and push us to reconsider how the universe took shape in its early stages. Future studies on these black holes may not only provide us with new information on how galaxies evolve but also lead us to a deeper understanding of the fundamental laws of physics, such as general relativity and quantum mechanics, and how these laws behave in the presence of such massive and energetic objects. In any case, the exploration of black holes like TUN 618 and Phoenix A represents a fascinating scientific adventure that will continue to challenge the limits of our knowledge of the universe.